guess where we're flying today? Here's a clue. It's a city you love to visit. And yes, you got it right. We're flying to Incheon, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, please fasten your seatbelt, reach on your seatbelt, seat table, and window shade into the upright position. Thank you. Welcome back travel friends or welcome if you're new here. We are travel enthusiasts sharing our passion for travel and aviation. Today is extra special as we take you on a virtual flight with Asiana Airlines. So stay on your seat and enjoy the journey. We are kicking off our journey at Narita International Airport, flying business class with Asiana Airlines. Choosing Terminal 1, we hang out in the ANA Lounge, the best call for some chill time and decent food before our much-awaited flight. Unfortunately, we couldn't show you the check-in or much of the airport since we are here from our connecting flight from Zurich, which you can see here or from the end screen later. A quick heads up for our fellow travelers. The ANA Lounge is open to those on ANA Group or Star Alliance operated flights. It's a big, comfy spot with dining, chill zones, and more. The main area has seats and couches with big windows and luckily it wasn't too crowded when we were there. Food-wise, they've got it all. Buffet, noodle bar, and plenty of drinks. Couldn't resist grabbing an authentic Japanese curry and a small bowl of ramen. Then they will give you a buzzer so you know when your noodle is ready. Imagine slurping down legit Japanese ramen with view of the runway and the planes coming and going. That's a total win. And if you need to freshen up, they've got showers too. Just hit up the front desk, trade your boarding pass for a shower key, and you'll find the showers on the first class side. To wrap it up, the ANA Lounge at Tokyo Narita proves to be top-notch choice, featuring a delightful array of food and drinks, speedy Wi-Fi, ample seating, and convenient showers. Our verdict, a solid 9 out of 10 for this lounge experience. So it's definitely a must for you to try. All right, it's time to make our way to the gate and hop on our flight. Come along for the ride with OZ101 to Seoul Incheon International Airport. And we're flying in style with the incredible Airbus A380-8800. A quick control to our carrier Asiana Airlines, a South Korean airlines with its headquarters right here in Seoul. As a proud member of Star Alliance, it holds a significant share, accounting for 25% of South Korea's international aviation market and 20% of the domestic market. And guess where it maintains its international hub? None other than Seoul's Incheon International Airport, our next destination. Here's a cool information for you. Asiana's customers service motto is all about state-of-the-art service, considerate service, friendly service, and high-end service. Now that's the kind of service we're looking forward to experience. Ready for takeoff and some high-flying fun! The passenger setup on this Airbus A380-8800 is pretty interesting. We've got 
two decks to explore. The main deck is home to business suites and three economy class cabins. But that's not all. Head up to the upper deck and you'll find two more business class cabins along with an additional economy class cabin. It's like a two-story travel adventure up in the clouds. Our flight clocks in around 2 hours and 10 minutes, taking off at 1.20 p.m. and touching down at our destination by 3.55 p.m. Now let's talk about comfort and style in Asiana Airlines A380 Business Class. Staggered seats arranged in a slick one-to-one -one configuration. In the middle, you've got the real aisle seats or what they're charmingly called the honeymoon seats. Two seats cozy up close. Our spot, aisle seat 8 and 10K on the window side, offering a perfect blend of privacy. Seriously comfy seating and just the right amount of storage space. So get ready to dive into the beauty of these seats. It's all about elevated travel experience. To your left is a generously sized table accompanied by handy power and USB ports. Right above, you'll find the reading light and the audio output. Everything within arm's reach. Boarding treats included a pair of sleepers, a noise-canceling headset, and in-flight magazines neatly stowed in a small compartment. Plus, no need to fumble around. The IFE remote and the seats controls are conveniently placed on the side of the counter. Peek under the controls, an armrest with a snug storage compartment. Perfect for securing a compact camera or cell phone. Need a charge? There is a universal power outlet right at the front near the floor. While the amenities were basic, the real charm lies in the storage boxes along the wall. These spacious boxes are a laptop or camera's best friend. Now, the seat's footwell might seem a tad cozy at first, but here's the kicker. It transformed to a fully flat bed. Although we didn't unfold it this time due to the short haul nature of this flight, it's a sweet feature for longer journeys or night flights. Assalamualaikum. Ni hao. Babuhan. Kamusta po? Hola. Jumrisu. Apa kabar? We hope you enjoy the flight with us. All right, once those aircraft doors sealed shut, the cabin crew treated us to a warm welcome announcement, followed by the routine safety video. All carry on baggage should be stowed in the overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. Post video, they did the final check ensuring everyone had their seatbelt securely fastened. And here's a charming tidbit. As the plane taxied, you could catch a glimpse of the typical Japanese send-off where folks waving goodbye. It's a cute and polite gesture that adds a touch of warmth. After a 10-minute roll to the runway, we felt the thrill of takeoff. And before we knew it, the meal service was underway. Now in a Siena business class, there is no dine-on-demand system, so they stick to clear meal times. Lucky for me, the menu featured a signature Korean dish, bibimbap. Accompanied by a delightful soup, rice, fresh mixed fruits, and a drink of your choice. Quality-wise, the meal was spot on, and the portion was more than enough for a quick, to our flight. Unfortunately, Kay couldn't partake due to his food restrictions. A bit of a bummer. Anyways, as we cruise along, a friendly attendant asked me, tourist or local in Korea? <laughs> then they handed me uh, Korean immigration forms, a must-fill requirement for the arrival process. These little touches make the journey both enjoyable and efficient. Now let's chat about the entertainment side of things in a Siena business class. I must say, I didn't quite sweep off my feet. While the screen itself was user-friendly with impressive resolution, the 
content section left me wanting more. Especially when I compare it to the likes of Singapore Airlines, which I often use as my benchmark. The system available in four languages, English, Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. But again, offers a small array of movies, TV shows, music, games, and some in-flight and airlines information. It gets the job done, but if you're looking for an extensive selection, you might find it quite limited. And let's talk about the key aspect, the service on board. Interestingly, the plane and the business business class section weren't packed or crowded despite having a surplus of flight attendants. The service in a nutshell falls into the good or just okay category. It feels like it's not necessarily delivered with the utmost intention or eagerness which I think you know what I mean. <laughs> However, I must say at least it's not bad or worse by any means. There are minimal to almost no complaints in this department. Overall, a decent experience without major hiccups. And we are grateful, of course. In summary, our experience with Asiana left us satisfied, not overly content though. The Airbus A380 is still a favorite and still makes the crown for passenger comfort, especially with the upper deck seats offering a cozier setup. The comfort of the seat itself didn't disappoint either. Food-wise, it hit the right notes for a short flight. And personally, I found that, again, that bibimbap a delightful choice. Also, however, flexibility with those with dietary restrictions could be improved. While the entertainment and amenities scored fewer points, service was acceptable, if not extraordinary. Considering our standards drawing from our Singapore airline flight and other airline experience, we give a Sienna flight an 8 out of 10. Despite some areas of improvement, we still wholeheartedly recommend a Ziana overall. We're curious about your experience with a Ziana or your expectation for future flights. So let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this honest review and first-hand experience, show us some love by liking this video and subscribing. For those new to our channel, we are the Journey Kings your passport to adventure we fund our own travel practically and this is certainly not sponsored thanks for joining us on this virtual journey stay tuned for our next adventure so hi everyone bye, bye.